Hey, yeah, folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of a Let's Play RimWorld. It is our Nexology run, and I actually decided to let the game run for a couple of days in between the last episode and this one, just to advance some things. I did actually deal with a couple of raid events in between. It happened shockingly fast, because I think we left things off right around here. So yeah, we got mad donkeys, and at the same time, we got a, uh, a raid of Breachers specifically. The thing with Breachers is I guess they're only about half strength of a normal raid. So they're annoying because they get around defenses, but it wasn't a very strong one. I think it may have been a kind of a lower raid difficulty roll as well uh, because we just booped it. I think there's like four dudes over here. I think we've already collected up all the bodies. Um, but yeah, it was trivially easy. So I was like, ah, you know what? I think I can handle this one. Um, we have converted tomboy over here one of our prisoners we finished researching psychite refining so i set up flake production at our drug lab and then we just got an event that a wanderer has joined and i thought all right let's pick up over here so we're gonna accept because if we turn it down we get a bad moodlet and the thing is as it turns out if we don't like this person assuming they don't have a family relationship with anyone no if we don't have, like this person we can do the thing where we just decide to shoot them they have a scar currently in their eye Maybe you're a good candidate for an eye replacement. Your bio, you are kind, hard worker. Okay, delicate is not the most ideal, especially as a Neanderthal, um, because you're not very good at shooting. You're better in melee, and delicate will make you take more damage. However, Neanderthals, don't they have natural toughness? They have robust, the strong immunity, the reduced pain. They're also slow runner, which always makes you feel a little awkward in melee, but in practice, a lot of times with the melee, we end up just putting people um, like near a wall. So yeah, the minus four for shooting. I mean, I I don't think we say no to them. The hard worker, mining, plant work. I think you're fine. You can fight. You don't have any traits that are a problem. Again, delicate, not ideal, but presumably we're just ending up with a, uh, a pawn that's kind of average. I don't know. Incoming damage multiplier. There we go. So they're still taking less damage than they would be uh, than a normal pawn. So I think Weiss is fine. Now we do have to go and convert them to the herd of purity. Um, oh, right, you're kind, so it is doubling the loss factor. So you're actually gonna be fairly easy to convert, which is great. Uh, conversion ritual and cooldown, yes. Hope's abilities are nearly done. We are gonna use it on Sophia to try to finish that off. But that's going to be okay. And yeah, I guess we're probably getting another recruit soon. Tomboy is actually probably getting recruited right now, I should think, because presumably their resistance was already broken and they're converted. So this should be the moment where this happens. Great. I did go in and I order a couple of assault rifles to be built here because we do need um, a couple more weapons. I mean, Arcadius is just using the, uh, the survival rifle or sorry, bolt action rifle. They used to be called survival rifles and I still have that in my head. And again, I might consider making and sniper rifle to give us some an extra long range option. We'll see. So Tomboy has now been recruited. I guess I have to do the schedule, but I guess I'll be doing the schedule for both at the same time. All right, you have a Gojuice dependency. I forgot about that. Hang on a sec. Okay, Gojuice production is a thing that exists. To make Gojuice, we need Yayo Neutromine. Okay, what we're going to do above the go juice here, actually below the go juice, um, I'm going to put a Yayo job, do until X, and it's just one per, I mean, we're going to want a little bit of a pull, maybe I'll do this, make a Yayo times four, if we don't, if we have less than 10 sitting around, make four of them ready to go, that should work out okay and then make flake afterwards. Mm, maybe I should keep a, a bigger pool of Yayo just for production. I believe, unless I'm wrong, I think ya flake is slightly better for money in terms of using less material per cash. I think that's kind of where the balance is. But we can also sell, always sell the Yayo. In fact, maybe since I need Yayo for the production, maybe I do this. I wonder if I open up the RimWorld flake versus Yayo, if I just type that in. This is from seven years ago, which is better for profit. Yeah, Flake is best price per leaf. But Yayo, I think, is faster. Yeah, Yayo is better in times of per work. So just like with the clothing, most things you sell, 
the price is based on the total material and total time used. So Flake gets built, takes longer to make with less material. Yayo gets made very fast, but uses more material. Um, so I think I will flip this around. Now we do use some of our psychoid leave for psychite tea. I have put a limiter on here for psychite tea because I don't want to use all of it for Psyche IT because Psyche IT isn't very valuable. We're keeping it around for mood boost, but it actually sells for a not very inspiring amount. So we'll do it in this order. Maybe I'll make the Yayo above the smoke beef joint, actually. Um, we can sell excess Yayo if we end up with a lot of it, but we'll keep a pool of it around ready to make go juice for Tomboy over here. What else you got going on? Body modder, which is great. Psychopath bloodlust, that's fine. Yeah, you're great at combat. It'd be great if you were a little tougher, although you're a Hussar. Yeah, super healing. That's right. You're, you're sorry, I hadn't properly acknowledged that before. Reduced pain. The go juice dependency. Unstoppable? That's a stagger time. Great melee, great shooting. Short hair right here. You might start some fights. Do you not actually have increased toughness? Is it just a healing? Was it not damage? Oh, maybe if you've just got the baseline, it sits at 100. Hold on, let me double check here. If we go to Weiss and look for damage, yeah, incoming damage modifier under combat, and I, unless I typed it wrong, no, so I guess under combat, yeah. So, okay, so Tomboy takes normal damage from everything, although they're not going to give in to the pain as quickly, and they do heal very quickly. Okay. Good shooting. And the great shooting is just extra stats. Yeah, it's just a plus eight. So the genetic shooting thing doesn't actually matter. Although, I guess it's a plus eight after the base, which means right now Tomboy is effectively an, a two shooting, which means you'll level up very quickly. Okay, that's actually very nice. So yeah, you'll probably be a good candidate uh, for giving to our assault rifles or something. It would be great if our crafters, and mostly by that I mean, um, come on, please sort. I mean spear over here. Spear has got the 16. Yeah, there it is. The 16 smithing. I was just checking beforehand because when I set up the gun job, the assault rifle, I limited it to people with 15 or higher skill. I mean, I could have just specified spear, but this is exactly the same. It would be great if you got inspiration. However, you do have the, what do we call it? The Makinator social role? The Maker social role. So you do get plus one levels to it. So there's a good chance at a 16 skill and that there's a good chance we're going to get masterwork. Um, I think it might be possible for Spirit of Roll Legendary, but I think it'd be pretty unlikely without an inspiration. And masterwork, so the better the quality of the weapon, the higher the accuracy. And specifically masterwork weapons and, and legendary do extra damage, which is very valuable. Hope's cooldown is up. Where's Sophia? Hope, convert, Sophia. Thank you very much. Inspired taming. Oh, that's fine. I don't think we're too concerned with that. Ingle, how you doing, by the way? Oh, you have not been converted. Oh, right. You were the one that came from something else. You don't have the automatic thing. And yeah, you're brand new. So we're still breaking your resistance. And we will go and try to use our conversion powers. Although the next priority will in fact be Weiss. But Sophia, sorry, Sophia, did you actually fully convert? Yes, good, okay. So yeah, we'll probably start using Hope's powers on Weiss next. Weiss not feeling too great. Oh, you. Okay, first of all, Weiss, I guess we're gonna put you on our default, Paul. no, you are on default. For addictions, I mean, is it was it the panoxic one that bothered you? I mean, you're gonna take the go juice, but that's for a dependency. Okay, you did take the panoxic one. I'm thinking the herd of purity must want, yeah, no drugs whatsoever. I wonder how you feel about the go juice. So we're gonna set Weiss to no drugs. Yeah, it still allows for addictions, which fair, but it won't. You won't take. Doses of panoxiclin. Was that a minus 12? Minus 15? Yeah, that's brutal. Masterwork wouldn't start off. Oh, yes, I started uh, I started this project over here. Now, what I did with this project is I started out of limestone. 
Um, in our stone makers, we do marble, granite, limestone, last. So what's nice about this is, let's say I want to build up a wall, then um, I'll build the walls out of granite. So they'll have a high priority for the reconstruction. Although there's also a wall over here, and this is actually being made out of sandstone, which we have some sitting around. I think this is using, well, this was going to use exactly, okay, so this is all sandstone here as well. Um, this section here was going to use exactly 140 sandstone blocks. We have 143. It's actually going to use five less because we're putting in a door. It's great. So sandstone, I think we got from deconstructing things. I don't, we don't have sandstone naturally on the map. We're not making blocks for it. Uh, and it's my understanding that sandstone, you actually build faster than some other materials. Um, I don't know where it describes it, you know? Yeah, it must just be something. Oh, work to build is 14 for sandstone walls. If we compare to um, granite, hang on, I need a different UI here. There we go. If we go to granite and then click here, 16, 14. It's uh, not much different. How about the marble? 15. The sandstone's a little faster, but it's not a deal breaker. That being said, we had some sandstone to get around, so I may as well do it. I know not all of our walls are going to match, but... I mean, they don't match now anyway. We still have a bunch of wood stuff. I talked about doing the secondary wall previously, I think in the last uh, episode, maybe the one before that, um, just because this is quite close to the um, the edge and we did have a drop raid land here before, or maybe it was a mech cluster. I was like, I'm going to build a second wall over here just to give us that extra buffer. That's going to be okay. Oh, right. I didn't actually change people's schedules and things. So let's do Zat Zat. And for work over here, Tomboy. Oh yes, he's got the medical passion. Very nice. You know, I'm gonna go and enables people bed rest again for now. Childcare, no, basic yet. I'm gonna just turn, turn off the hunting for now. So you have some passion for crafting here. I guess it's fun, well, hmm. An interesting question. You can practice, you know, making our, our stuff to sell. We could get you leveled up, but we already have a couple of good crafters. And you would use some material to make some pretty shite things. If we find you being idle a lot, I'll turn these on. But right now, yeah, you don't have a whole lot going on. Okay, that's Tomboy and then Weiss over here. That do this. Now, can I extract jeans from Tomboy? Is it just a full Hussar package, or can I selectively grab some jeans? See, Weiss has got some crazy good skills to help us. Crazy good skills. So you actually don't like hunting? Wow. All right. But yeah, growing, decent skill at 11 already, and double passion, and then mining can come up again. I mean, Reich certainly is doing it faster, but we can probably turn that on. Maybe I'll drop it to a 3, so you can plant cut before you mine. But yeah, you'll be pretty busy. And again, it means that much more that we really don't necessarily need Hope to jump in on this. But she's got the construct above the uh, grow and plant cut, so that's fine. I don't think we need to enable anything else there. All right. Nope, that's looking good. Still have our lovely forced weather going on. Night cycle. Wycone's coming over here and helping out with building our fancy structure. Oh, we don't need a roof on this area. Like, there's no reason for us to spend any time building a roof. And if I build a roof, then I'll just have to deconstruct it later when I decide to tear this building down. Which almost certainly I will, because I don't think it's in a very convenient place long term for us. I mean, it's not super in the way. It's a little awkward. I couldn't put it anywhere over here. Like, ideally, I would have liked it a little closer to where our blocks are being kept. But there wasn't quite enough space. I don't think... I didn't check, but I don't think this area is big enough. I think it's probably slightly too short this way. Might be wrong. That would have been maybe okay, although we don't actually have a direct route here from the stockpile either. And yeah, the breach trade, I don't know if I told you where it came through. It blew up this wall, and then it it hit this wall here. Um, it was wasters, so they were using a breach axe, not frag grenades, and then they had a bunch of uh, the their toxic gas grenades. Like, they were so not threatening. Just really easy, and we have so much firepower. Oh, Tomboy, you do need a weapon, my dude. Okay, the only good weapon currently available is... Oh, this is bio-coded. Well, first of all, let's not include bio-coded weapons on this shelf. And we should at the smelter. Oh, right. I'm, so I'm not doing it right now. Um, smelt weapon. 
do forever. Right, I got rid of it because I'm like, I still am a little confused about what happened to my EMP grenades. Um, Non-biocoded. So this is going to smelt down any biocoded weapons. And then after this, we could put in the destroy because the biocoded weapons I don't think sell for much either. There we go. So only biocoded weapons will then be burned. So we knew that. Oh, there we go. We did finish an assault rifle. And Tomboy's pretty good. He's got the 10 shooting. Oh, yeah. And, and he's going to skill up really fast. Yeah, we're going to give you this assault rifle. Excellent. All right, that's building. Image of Silicon Desired. What? Is this an art? I think it's probably an art. My art bench is over here. Image of Silicon. Let's make it out of marble specifically, because that sounds nice. You need 50. Okay, so we've got enough marble being constructed for that. All right. So we must have just broken another wealth level. Hooray! Yeah, her wealth is growing like crazy. <sighs> I mean, again, eventually our wealth has got to go up, but I kind of want to do the genetic stuff first. Now, we did unlock some new gene stuff. Bionic replacement's coming in now. Um, you know, I might want some ID options. Death rest we don't need. Oh, advanced lights. I always ignore it because I think it's the color change thing. Um, I didn't realize it also. I, I keep forgetting that it reduces the power consumption of lights by half. Now, that's not that much, but we may as well get it. It's like trivially cheap research. Um, let's lock in the advanced fabrication for all the crazy stuff we're going to do next. The armor stuff would be very good. We could start doing... We haven't done any baby stuff. I guess I don't need to worry about this. And these are all with tech prints. Maybe I'll get ready for the ground scanners. Because at some point we will need more material. I mean we don't we're not doing anything with turrets right now, but I'm kind of okay with it. Probably should in those smoke packs a little higher up. They're quite handy to have for dealing with certain groups of things. Mech clusters, for example. Very useful that way. But I think we'll be all right here. Room must be at least 25 tiles. Impressive. No bed, no work. Yeah, we'll just put it in the temple. It's going to be fine. It's bad about the no work, because otherwise I would put it in here and add some extra beauty to this room. But this is going to be okay. And we do have someone on art, don't we? No, we don't actually have it enabled. Maddie, let's do that. So you'll take some time away from research for a little bit. That's going to be okay. Bionic replacements are ready to go. I don't know if any of our people have like a peg leg or something like that. We've got a few people with bionic legs, but I don't... Well, obviously, we're not going to replace that. We've got some people with prosthetics. I don't know if we're going to rush to replace this. Prosthetic is fine. <clears throat> prosthetic, prosthetic. Now, I could consider doing the full bionic replacement for Hope. Right? At some point, we might elect the people we're going to bring with us to the next spot and start doing that. We already did a bit of a gene injection on Hope. Major Burke Risk was to say it's probably Weiss. If you could get rid of this, that would be kind of helpful, my dude. No execution, so it went. Yeah, we have to get you converted. Man, oh man. At least it will happen quickly once we start. I suppose if there's a problem, we could arrest Weiss. Weiss just joined us, but we could arrest them. Keep them in here until they're ready to convert. Or until they've been converted. That's not the dumbest idea in the universe. Should I do that now or just wait until they've got a mood break? I mean, the safer thing would be to arrest them now. It's not like we don't have enough people in here to do this. I mean, I'm happy you're getting good night's sleep. This is going to go away soonish. You know, let's go and put Weiss on a biphasic schedule for now. Some extra recreation put in here. There we go. Just try to maintain those those moodlets up as much as possible. Lose a little bit of efficiency on Weiss. And in theory, they're going to sleep the exact same amount throughout the day. And in theory, they're going to do exactly the same amount of recreation throughout the day. They're just going to do it in two separate chunks. It means a little bit more walking, and that's where you're losing your efficiency mostly. 
but if we can keep, you know, the recreation fully satisfied, uh, make sure you maintain your luxuriantly comfortable buff from sleeping in beds, for example, that is going to be helpful. You're relaxing socially right now, so your mood's okay. All right, advanced lights, cool. Yeah, we could recolor things, but we're okay. So we're up to 16 or 17 people now. Not all of them, well, all of them except Weiss, I suppose, are are Arcanex's people. Maybe I should go and build more of these. So we've got, I thought I had 12, I guess, okay, I only have 11. Well, maybe when I was box selecting over here, it was selecting more objects. So I only have 11 of these. We could certainly build a few more. Again, it's not the end of the world if I don't literally have one for everyone. That'll bring us to 15. Okay, we'll do that. Extra assault rifle has been made and has been stored over there. So emulator. Arcadius. Okay, Arcadius is pretty good at shooting. Let's give you this as well. You will be decent at shooting. We'll give you this, replacing the survival rifle. That's going to be okay. I'm sorry, bolt action rifle. I don't think I'm ever not going to do that. Our piece is nearly done. Alpaca 2 is pregnant. Huzzah. Can we try for a baby? Then I definitely feel like I have to bring them with us. Of course, I guess I'm I'm probably also want to bring Hobby with us. Hmm. It would be weird for Hope to leave her husband behind, wouldn't it? Is he the most important person in the universe, though? Cooking and artistic. Let's be honest. That might not be the most important character in our colony. What a thing to say. What a thing to say, and yet, maybe, I don't know, maybe they'll decide to get each other divorced. We can, we can only hope, right? <laughs> um, oh, let's build some wall lights in here. I do have, oh no, I don't have wall lights in here. That's right, because A, I'm not in 1.5, and B, I'm running my quote unquote mostly vanilla run. We'll put one light in the middle of this room. It's just going to feel better. It is a, we don't really need light in this room, but it, it's feeling annoying that it's dark. Okay, oh, we finished our structure. So we get Plaskiel and the Resurrector Mech Serum. Let's make sure to hold that urgently in there, please. Completed monument. It's going to stick around for 15 days, which is no problem. Although I suppose I should make sure to home zone this area for maintenance and then also do this here. Thank you. Also, I don't know if I addressed it, but we do have this um, geothermal up now to make sure we've got. Well, now we have crazy grid power because it's during the day and it's full windy, but we were still running like bouts of negative power. And if we're building more of these, it's going to be nice to have. So that's OK. So, yeah, we have we have a lot of power now, uh, although if we start needing our regeneration chambers, then that's going to go down again like pretty crazy. But so be it. I don't think I'm going to make any more robots than I have now. We've got the constructor bot we started with and we built a clean sweep and lifter. I think that's going to be OK because I'm not sure we're going to be able to bring them with us later. Boredom. So his cerebral dexterity chemical. Well, we don't have televisions and I guess we never purchased a telescope. Hmm. You know what we're going to do? We're going to load some stuff over here and send a gift to our neighbors. So how much is this hay worth? Well, I guess it's not totaling it up, but I mean, it's not worth much per item. Let's see here. I'm going to send you the Yayo and this wake up. We do have some Goju's made, which is great. You know, I'm never going to remember to use this animal pulser, so I'm just going to put that in the box as well. Um, I don't know. Bed rolls. Should we keep? Should we sell? We can just make more if we need to. Maybe I'll sell the better one because, I mean, the higher quality bed rolls are going to be nice for traveling, but it's like just as a gift. Yeah, sure. We'll give them that. We're going to get rid of these crappy short bows we don't care about. Um, That's only a normal quality. You know what? I will sell that. That's going to be fine. Mm, we're going to sell these tox grenades. I'll sell. We're going to gift all those. We still have tons of mass left over. Um, We could stuff an animal in there and we could always go and put in some just some plain old silver uh, 
It doesn't. I'm assuming this one's male. It doesn't actually list them over here, which is a little annoying. Hmm. Off the wart, no. Random insect meat, sure. I don't even. They, they might not even like see value in that. Wow, the hay's not very expensive. I don't know. I might still just send this as is. Sure. We'll see what this does for us. Is it 1.5 that gives you the ability to change what's in here later? Because we can't now, right? I can't remember if it's that or it's something else that you can change what's in here afterwards. Because I think your only choices now are to launch or cancel it completely. We want to yoink any... Yeah, okay, we have to figure out gene yoinking. Do we have... We do have a gene extractor. Can I put it in this room? So if the lamp were in a slightly different position... We'll put, end up putting it in this room. Rare thrombos. Should really go and practice my kiting for the next run where I want to do that, but we'll see. So we're going to send this to uh, Lelelium over here. Because we want, we need to ally them for a the Arconex's quest, but b we want to. Um, it, it's nice to have an ally you can call in on a tough raid. We should have done that ages ago. <laughs> I, I could have sent them more food. I really should have probably packed that more, because of the chem fuel and steel usage. Mostly the steel. I'm not too worried about the chem fuel actually. Oh, power your powers? Nearly there. Area revealed. Oh, okay. This is fine. I guess we don't have any actual construction jobs up because people are up to deconstructing, which is okay. Our constructor bot isn't going to help in that area. I don't have them allowed to leave the walls, and I think that's still the correct way to play things. Ooh. Excellent button-down shirt. Nice. Yeah, and Arcadius came with recon armor, which is really helpful. Masterwork cloth duster. I guess we don't have any devil strand, because otherwise we'd be doing that. Still, people will upgrade. Um, Our food product, we still are ending up with a lot of food. I mean, we're clearly overproducing it. Um, I'm wondering, do we do more devil strand? Actually, I'm even wondering about downgrading how much smoke leaf we're making. Masterwork alpaca wool pants. It's nice that there's so much masterwork going on. It's a bit of a shame that our one of our assault rifles is only good and not masterwork. Okay. Chaplain is ready to go. Weiss, we are going to target you. Conversion ritual is um, still waiting. Oh, info about the Arco Nexus. Okay. We have to send 12 people to go there. I think we're ready for it this time. Yeah, there's no timer on accepting this, so I don't have to do it now, but I think we probably will pretty quickly. Let a sleep cycle go too. Arcadius is still feeling pretty miserable. Wait. Your fiance died. Right. As I was gonna say, it's Weiss who's got the bad mood thing, which is now fixed. Arcadius, your fi fiance died. She must have been in one of the raids, which is annoying. You have a chemical want. Yeah, you just have chemical fascination. And you are on the... What's your drug policy, my dude? Oh, yeah, we can put you on the tea policy. Reich's going to do drugs whenever they want anyway, right? Hang on. No, that's Tom... Sorry. Tomboy is on tea, which I think is okay. There, got to click this. Let you have that. Everyone's on tea except for Odette and Sass. And then Weiss is on no drugs. Double check Arcadius here and Tomboy. There's no reason you shouldn't be on anything. No, no, no. You're good, you're good, you're good. Okay, yeah. Oh, inspiration for surgery. Well, if we were going to do surgery, now might be the time for it. Oh my god, we're doing a raid. Mech hive. Okay. Um, this is a time for us to put in a cut. We're going to go and do that. Standard cliffhanger. It's not too bad. We got Scythers over here. Oh, it's again... This is, these are really, 
we are playing Randy Random, and Randy can roll very low raids. He can also roll raids that are much higher than normal, but this is an extremely low roll. These Scythers, I mean, it's not a breach raid or anything, but they're going to prepare for a while. Yeah, they're just going to walk into all these traps and die. So I'm going to tell everyone to be on a wall over here, and we will deal with that next time. The Thromos are inside my base and everything. I mean, we definitely have the firepower to take them, but maybe I just should. I don't know. We'll see what we do next time. Folks, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.